In this first lesson of weldment certification preparation, we are going to discuss the certifications that SolidWorks offers, along with the importance of certifications, and then how to prepare for the advanced weldment certification exam. Let's begin by going to the SolidWorks website, www.solidworks.com, and then viewing their certification webpage. We do that by going to the support drop down menu, and then certification. SolidWorks currently offers 12 certifications and the list continues to grow. The primary certifications are the CSWA, associate level, CSWP, the professional level, and CSWE, the highest level of certification, the expert level. Along with these three certifications, there are nine advanced specialty certifications. And one of these is the weldment certification. Now the goal of these exams is to establish an industry standard by which SOLIDWORKS professionals are evaluated. Whether this is your first certification or you already have many SOLIDWORKS certifications under your belt, it is my belief that certifications are very important in your continued growth in your design and engineering career. As a college educator, I have many companies contact me on a regular basis looking for students proficient in SOLIDWORKS. In fact, most employers require certain SOLIDWORKS certifications. Not only do the certifications help with gaining employment, certifications show your employer that you have a certain level of competency in the software and that you are proactive in keeping your skills up to date. Many employers will base bonuses and pay raises on certifications. As an educator, I personally enjoy seeing a sense of accomplishment when a student passes a certification exam. I would be remiss if I said the exams were easy. All of these SOLIDWORKS exams are challenging and will test your knowledge in the software. These exams are not to be taken lightly and proper preparation is key. The Advanced Weldments exam is a comprehensive, non-proctored online exam. It is a two-hour exam consisting of 26 questions with a minimum passing score of 75%. Once the exam is started, it cannot be paused. If you are not successful in passing the exam, you will need to wait 30 days between each attempt. As I said earlier, preparing for the weldments exam is essential. Not only should you have formal training like you are receiving with the Infinite Skills video lessons, you should also research any areas of the weldment environment you may be having difficulty with. In addition, there is also a practice weldment exam on the SOLIDWORKS website. In my opinion, the most important preparation for this exam is to practice, practice, and more practice. The more hands-on experience you have, the easier the weldment exam will be. If you are successful in passing the Certified SOLIDWORKS Professional Weldment Exam, you will receive an electronic certificate, electronic business card logos, along with the option to have your newly acquired certification listed in the online certification directory. Good luck!